हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन ऑफ पुश डाउन ऑटोमेटा लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो माय पीडीए इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ सेवन टपल रिलेशनशिप अप टिल नाउ द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑटोमेटास दैट वी स्टडीड वर रिप्रेजेंटेड ओनली बाय फाइव टपल रिलेशनशिप दिस इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट वी आर एनकाउंटरिंग अ सेवन टपल रिलेशनशिप now this tuple representation has increased only because of the addition of a special data structure called as stat so i say it is defined as m is equal to q summation oh what's this this is a special alphabet called as g g h e it is a greek alphabet we are not bother with it we are simply going to use it digest it as it is represented in the automata theory okay just understand the definition and use it okay so i say g del q0 z0 and f where i say my q is going to be finite set of states so that remains the same q will be finite set of states my summation is going to be input alphabet now that is not going to change these are very basic definitions of automata so that is going to be my input alphabet so this is alphabet for input my g is going to be called as the stack alphabet now what is that which i am trying to say by stack alphabet i just told you for the example of a raised to b raised to what we pushed on the stack was x x will be called as the stack alphabet what was already available on the stack was z z is also a stack alphabet so everything that we are going to have it on the stack will be called as stack alphabet so this is my stack alphabet next we have the transition function del so let me write the transition function again as you know like fsm fa dfa nfa that was the heart here also it is going to be the heart of the machine and this del is represented as q cross summation cross epsilon cross g going to give me q cross g star right now you will not understand anything for this line at least and without understanding this also you can understand the entire pdf chapter which i will anyways be explaining this once we do a problem on it as of now just keep it apart and understand that like we had all other transition functions this is another transition function that we are going to study fine then after that we do have my next input symbol as q0 which is the same which is called as the initial or the start state my next is z0 my z0 is another new thing now z0 is again related to my stack and i say z0 is my initial stack top symbol and my z0 because of that will of course belong to g whatever is initially available on the stack will be z0 that is which we assumed in the previous example the bottom of the stack is by a special value z0 and that is going to be represented by this z0 symbol so as i told you you can assume it as z you can assume it as any other alphabet which you want you can also assume it as z0 only right in the previous example we assume z0 as z so it's up to us the only thing is it has a special significance that it is the initial stack top symbol initial which later on when elements are pushed will no longer be initial then thereafter the last one we have f which is of course called as the finite set of final states and which i say f is going to be the subset of q that's it for the formal definition of pushdown automata see you in the next session thank you